If you haven't heard from some of the bigger Call of Duty YouTubers yet, Sledgehammer Games released today that they are adding 15 new prestige levels to Advanced Warfare, calling it the Grand Master Prestige. The COD community has been asking for a way to earn elite weapons, not just obtain them with luck from supply drops. And with this new system, you do just that. You earn one elite weapon per prestige. Unfortunately, they decided the order of these elite weapons. Even more unfortunate, they excluded some of the better ones, such as the AK-12 RIP and the HBR Insanity. So let's go through all 15 and see what's here. So the first prestige is the BAL-27 Obsidian Steed. Hands down, this is probably the best weapon in the game. I can see a lot of people stopping after this prestige simply because this is the weapon they want. Definitely good to have that one first. For the second prestige, you get the MP-11 Goliath. This also should make a lot of people happy as this is a very good variant. Prestige 3 is the Moore's Silver Bullet. I already own this one. It's a pretty decent weapon. Prestige 4 is the TAC-19 Sledgehammer. Again, I already own this one and it's a very good weapon. It's one of the best TAC-19s for hip firing. Prestige 5, you get the EM-1 Polar Vortex. Now, I don't understand this one. I don't know why they didn't include the Poner here. The Poner is way better than the Polar Vortex. Prestige 6 is the ARX-160 Steel Bite. This is my favorite looking weapon in the entire game. That pink and gold camo is awesome. However, statistically, the hole puncher is actually better than this. But still, it's a great weapon nonetheless. Prestige 7 is the AMR9 Pro Pipe. Until the AMR9 gets buffed, this is probably not even worth using. However, I'll give it that it's a lot better than the base AMR9. Plus, it's got a free noob tube on it. Prestige 8 is the Amelie Whalehorn. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of either of the Amelie Elite weapons, so... I'm not sure what to think of this one. Now I have this one, but I rarely use it as there's much better alternatives. Prestige 9 is the AE4 Gigawatt. I've never experimented with this one, so I'm not sure what to think, but I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Prestige 10 is the IMR Thunder Tusk. This is a great looking weapon as well, but I don't know about the performance. Prestige 11 is the SN6 Money. Again, another cool looking one. The SN6 Elite, the third variant, is much better than this one though. Prestige 12 is the ASM-1 Speakeasy. This is probably the one most people want, so I'm a little surprised they put it all the way at 12. 13 is the Pytech Loophole. Now this one statistically looks awful, but it has a lot of hidden stats. In fact, I might do a video on this, just to explain all the hidden stuff. Prestige 14 is the HBR A3 Barefist. Now this one is awful. I have no idea, first of all, why they put it at 14, and second of all, why they included it at all. This should be the insanity, hands down. Prestige 15 is the ASM-1 Strider. Again, I don't understand the order of this at all. This is by no means the best elite weapon in the game. But I guess based on this list, they don't have them ranked in any particular order. The Strider is very strong, but the recoil on it is insane. I would have much rather have seen the Insanity or the AK-12 RIP instead of this. If you prestige before in this game, you'll know that most of the challenges reset as well as all your attachments for every gun. Well that's a thing of the past, at least for these new 15 Master Prestige levels. It's confirmed that you will not lose challenges or attachments this time. Neither of those will reset. So basically, there's absolutely no downside to prestiging now. You don't lose anything and you get an elite weapon for each prestige. Not only that, but they added some icing to the cake. It looks like if you manage to finish the 15th additional prestige, you unlock the entire Grandmaster Prestige character set. Which is what the royalty camo should have been in the first place, in my opinion, purple. Now I'm already Master Prestige, so I love this. The fact that challenges and attachments no longer will reset makes this all the more enjoyable. Like I said, there will be no downside to prestiging these levels. On the other side of the spectrum, for those of you that are nowhere near Master Prestige already, this will be frustrating. You'd have to grind the normal Master Prestige and then grind even further to reap any benefits of the Elite Weapons. I'd say if you're Prestige 5 or lower currently, you're probably better off just opening Supply Drops in hopes of getting an Elite Weapon. As mentioned though, some of the Elite Weapons aren't even available with these Master Prestige levels. And some of the ones that are, aren't any good at all. So let me know what you guys think of these changes. I'm interested to hear your feedback.